what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Granite Tools. Suffice it to say, sometimes knowing what you're looking at is half the battle. <laughs> Recognizing that I needed a set of crow's feet, I headed over to Epstein's website where I can find American made tools from brands like Armstrong, SK, Martin, and I checked out this set of Bonnies for around like 50 bucks. Great deal, right? I'll leave links to that set in the description, but for squirts and wiggles, I decided to have a look at eBay just to see what I could find before pulling the trigger on that Bonnie set. What I found was a set of East Coast right for the picking at the low, low price of 28 bucks. And like I said, knowing is half the battle. So this is a 10 piece crow's foot set from East Coast, of course. One of them is Craftsman, but the history behind this company and subsequently the Craftsman one is quite interesting. The Moore Drop Forging Company was founded in Springfield, Massachusetts in the year 1900 by Arthur L. Moore. If you're confused as to why I switched to talking about this company, just bear with me. It'll all make sense in a few moments. Moore Drop Forge, as its name implies, appears to have been a steel forge manufacturing tools and other products for both their own name and contracts for others. They produced pipe wrenches under the Moore and Morco names, but also produced hand tools for Ford. So if you happen to stumble across early Ford wrenches intended for service on models like the Model T, and it features this circle with an M inside, it's made by Moore Drop Forge. In 1938, Moore Drop Forge started supplying tools to Sears, becoming a major craftsman supplier by the mid 1940s. And now you're starting to see where I'm going with this. To sustain their brand new craftsman contract, Moore Drop Forge opened a new facility in Springfield, producing hand tools that featured the V manufacturer code. But that's not where the story ends. The Eastern Stainless Steel Corporation purchased Moore Drop Forge in 1967, continuing the Craftsman contract and later changing their name to Eastco in 1969. So there you have it. Even though one of these is a Craftsman branded tool, since it doesn't appear to have been made before 1967, it's made by Eastco anyways. The Eastco brand doesn't exist today because after a hostile takeover and a few exchanges of ownership, they ended up in the hands of Danaher by 1990. Eastco was then completely shut down after the 2010 creation of the Apex Tool Group. Either way, these sure seem to be quite nice. The chrome is really beautiful, all the sizes in the set appear to fit really well, even the Craftsman one, and they all lock to a ratchet firmly. Oh, and you better believe that showdown is coming. But there are some issues. The entire set is missing the 15 16th size. I'm not sure if it ever came with it, but every East Coast set I've seen of these is missing that size. Some of them are also pretty rough on the bottom. As you can see here, either that forging dial was wearing out or they just didn't finish it too well. I don't know what I'm going to do about the missing 15 16th size, but I suppose I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Of course, since Eastco doesn't exist anymore, there will be no warranty. Neither will there be on that Bonnie set I was looking at earlier, but should I ever need to replace any of these, I'll probably end up getting that Bonnie set. And at 28 and 52 bucks respectively for USA made stuff, how can one really complain, as they're a lot cheaper than any of the other USA made crow's foot sets. While I do have a need for crow's foot wrenches, and they definitely have a place in someone's toolbox, these are likely going to end up sort of collecting dust in mine. Yes, I will still use them on occasion, but I feel like for most techs, me included, crow's feet are not an everyday use item, which is why I couldn't really justify spending the exorbitant rates the current higher end brands charge. So in short, I ended up with a decent USA made set with a nice chrome finish that I got for cheap because the manufacturer doesn't exist anymore. It should also be noted that you can find this set badged as Craftsman, but most of the sets I've seen are still missing the 15 16th size. Craftsmen have had many different manufacturers over the years, so if made in the USA was what you're looking for, you would need to cross-reference the manufacturing stamp to assure the country of origin. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you. I'll be sure to leave all the links I can find for that Bonnie set and an eBay search for this set, but just as a heads up, the last time I saw one of these sets, it was going for around 75 bucks. But as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Check out my Twitter and Instagram if you're interested. And thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you're still here, consider checking out my other reviews of quality hand tools.